Hello students. Today we will complete unit 1 lesson 4 talking about magnetism and electricity. We discussed before about the magnet and today we will start the relation between the magnetism and electricity. There is a relation between magnetism and electricity where an electric current has a magnetic effect or a magnetic effect generates an electric current. Okay. An activity to show the magnetic effect of electric current. We need in this activity a small compass and isolated wire, a dry battery. So, the steps, when I have or put the insulated wire beside the compass, which is not connected with a battery, what we will observe, the compass needle doesn't deflect when there is no current. In another side or in another picture, when I connected the wire with the battery, observe the compass, the compass will be deflected. So the electric current generates a magnetic effect or magnetism can be generated by electricity. The electromagnet, it is the magnet which is made by electricity. The electromagnet converts electric energy into magnetic energy. Electro, when we divide this word, electro comes from electric magnet into magnetic so when i'm asking you the electromagnet convert electric energy into magnetic energy then the structure of the electromagnet the electromagnet consists of or to make the electromagnet we need battery we need copper wire and iron nail, root soft iron nail, that connected to the battery. When the electric current passes through the wire, the bar of the root iron works as a magnet. Let's see. It. Okay, in this slide, we see now when the copper wire connected with the soft iron nail, and with a battery okay so on the iron nail attract the paper clips so there is a current that passes from the wire to the soft iron nail but in another side when the iron nail doesn't attract the paper clips there is no current because the copper wire doesn't connect to the battery so the soft iron nail it will become as no magnet okay i hope all of you understand this part the magnetic force of electromagnet can be increased by by two ways number one increasing the number of coil turns when i am incre increasing the number of coil turns the electromagnet becomes strong so can attract a lot of magnetic materials or increasing the number of batteries where the intensity of electric current passing through the coil increase when i'm increasing the number of batteries so i have a large amount of electricity so when i increasing the amount of electricity it becomes the soft iron nail becomes as a strong magnet so when i am 
I want to increase the electromagnet, I should increase the number of coil turns or increasing the number of batteries. Now the uses of the electromagnet. We use the electromagnet in factories to move the heavy iron blocks as it's used from making crane or big size winches. Okay, this is the uses number one or making many devices that depend on the electromagnet such as electric mixer, electric bell, the desk driver, and the television. Now give reason, the magnetic force of electromagnet increase by increasing the number of batteries. The answer, because the intensity of electric current passing through the coil increase. We said before, when I'm increasing the number of batteries, so I have a lot amount of electricity. So we have now the magnetic force will be increase. Okay, let's go. Generating the electric current by using the magnet. The English scientist Faraday discovered that the electric energy can be generated by magnetic energy that as known as dynamo so who is discovered this device faraday and what is the device it is dynamo that convert or can electric energy generated by the magnetic energy what is the structure of dynamo it is made up of copper coil magnet the idea of this operation, it converts the kinetic energy into electrical energy. Don't forget this dynamo convert kinetic energy into electrical energy. We have two types of the dynamo. There are many examples of dynamo. We divide it into small dynamo and huge dynamo. Small dynamo, huge dynamo. We can find the small dynamo in the bicycle. Okay, it consists a small cylinder that touches the bicycle wheel tire. And this small cylinder is connected with U-shaped magnet that's surrounded by coil. This is the shape of the small dynamo. So it is generates a small amount of electricity that used to lighten the bicycles. Bulb. Huge dynamo consists of many great coils that turn us between two poles of huge magnet. Also, the idea of work of the huge dynamo is converts the kinetic energy or mechanical energy into electric energy. As we see in this picture, when we use the magnet and insert it. In the coil, what happened? The compass here deflects. Okay, so kinetic energy changing to electric energy. We can use the huge dynamo in electric power station to generate a large amount of electricity that used for lighting cities and operating factories. So be careful to compare between the small dynamo and huge dynamo. Small dynamo can generate small amount of electricity to lighting like the bicycle's bulb. But huge dynamo used to generate a lot 
or a large amount of electricity that used for lighting cities and operating factories. Now the ways to increase the amount of electricity from the dynamo. We have also two ways to increase the amount of electricity. Number one, by using a strong magnet. When I use a strong magnet, we can generate a large amount of electricity. Number two, by increasing the number of turners in moving coil. Also, we increase the coil turners, we can generate a large amount of electricity. Now, complete the apparatus that converts kinetic energy into electric energy is called dynamo. Small and huge are examples of dynamo. I hope all of you understand this lesson. Thank you and goodbye.